Hiya, this is the first video for the fifth lesson, the last lesson on this long loss pack. Um, hopefully you're thinking it's not as bad as you, you thought it was. And it could be quite a nice one because it's just disguised quadratics. So let's have a look then. So remember, for a disguised quadratic, it's A, something squared, plus B, lots of something, didn't think this out really when I was writing it, plus C is zero. So if I look at it, this, the, the something, could be 5 to the power of x. So if I rewrite that as 5 to the x all squared, the 5 to the 2x, minus 4 lots of 5 to the x, minus 21 is 0, I can put it in poly. So I can put 1 minus 4 minus 21. Taking care to actually read the right answers, because in one of the, I think it might be in the second lesson, I wrote down the answers for the question above and just kept watching on. So if I put that into poly, it gives me um, a minus 3 and it gives me a 7. Now normally we put x equals, but because it's a disguised quadratic, we put the something equals. So 5 to the power of x. 5 to the power of x. Right then. I've got to be careful now with this, because if you remember my power graphs have an asymptote at y is 0. So if you look, that has no solutions, because it doesn't cross where minus 3 is. So that has no solution, and that's because 5 to the power of x is greater than 0. There, so you've got to be careful with that. This one's okay, so I can do log, so I can do log to base 5. So if I do x is log to base 5 of 7, uh, that would give me, that would give me x is log to base 5 of 7. I've not put a decimal on, so should we leave it in exact form? I'm just copying off what the completed pack says, so we'll leave it in exact form. There's one for you to do there, so if you do it in class, I'll do it now, it's quite nice. Oof, now this one's a little bit tougher, because um, I've got my something, my something's going to be the 3 to the x. But I need this to be just the 3 to the 2x, so I need to do a little bit of splitting first. So I've got the 3 to the 2x plus 2. If I use my indices laws, it's 3 to the 2x, which is a bit that I want, times by 3 squared. So that's really 9 times by 3 to the 2x. So I can change the 3 to the 2x into my something squared. So that would be like 9 times by... 3 to the x all squared. I don't know if you can see this on you. If you watch it on your phone or on something quite small. Well, I need to rewrite that of 3 lots of 2x to the 2. So what it gives me is a 9 lots of 3x squared minus 82 lots of 3x, 3 to the x plus 9. So in poly, if I do 9 minus 82 and 9, does that work? Is that what the is? Hang on. Yeah. It gives me a ninth, and it gives me 9. Remember, I'd normally write x, but I'm doing something, so it's 3 to the power of x. 3 to the power of x. <laughs> I know that a ninth is 3 to the power of 9 minus 2, so I could just say that x is minus 2 straight away. Or I could just do logs. If I did log to base 3, it would give me minus 2 out. But I could spot that the 9th is 3 to the power minus 2. So x must be minus 2. In a similar vein, that 9 is 3 squared. So x is 2. Right. So that's 1 for you. That's the bit there that's a little bit messy. That's splitting the 3 to the 2x plus 2. Uh, what are we on? 
five minutes. Go on, I'll keep going. Right, so I've got a similar thing here, so my something is e to the x. So I've got two lots of e to the x all squared minus seven lots of e to the x plus three. Stick it in poly, putting two minus seven and three in poly, gives me a half and it gives me three. I'm going to put e to the x here, e to the x. Get rid of e to the x, I'm going to take ln, because that's the opposite of e to the x. So I'm going to go x is log of a half, and x is log 3. And I'm definitely going to leave these in exact form. There. Last one for this one, and I've got another video to do for this lesson, which is the next page along. Uh, oof, going out with a bang here. So I want to rewrite this part. So I've got e to the x plus 5 over e to the x is 6. If you remember on that test that we had before Christmas, um, we did three of these in the lesson before the test. I'm like, two of you out of my both classes got it right. So the three, doing, doing the three of them on that sheet of paper, where they were in the boxes along the bottom, really did make a difference. So I'm going to multiply by this e to the x here. I'm going to remove it. So it'll give me an e to the 2x, if I multiply it, a plus 5 is equal to 6e to the x. So I'm multiplying all the bits by it. I'm not just moving it on the other side, I'm multiplying through. So this becomes an e to the x all squared. I'm going to take away the 6e to the x. Plus 5 is 0. Stick it in poly. Uh, what do I get? I get 1. And I get 5, so that's an e to the x, e to the x. Take log, my phone's buzzing like crazy. Uh, take ln, so that's going to be x, is ln1. It might be my son actually. It's, um, we had his second jab yesterday, and then at about 2 in the morning, uh, was up with like a raging temperature and being sick, and he got back to sleep till about 5, and it's now what? What time are we on? Uh, half eight, so he could have could have got out of bed because he didn't need to send him to school today. Right, log one is zero. There you go. Done, done. Right, I haven't got time to do the next one, which is a shame. Why don't I do? Come on, I'll give it a go. Uh, 